One of the um, uh, almost unfortunate uh, details with using a uh, fence for cutting small parts on the, uh, the bandsaw is this. In order for the um, uh, upper guide to clear the fence, it's got to be above the fence like so. And if you're cutting a piece of wood that might be quarter of an inch square, then you've got this tremendous um, uh, uh, area of the blade here exposed. So we've gotten around that by making ourselves an auxiliary fence like this. And it simply clips onto the back of the fence here. And at that point, we can bring that into whatever dimension we're after, drop this down, and now our A, our blade is uh, nicely supported, and uh, B, it's a much safer operation than having the, uh, the guide um, up way too high. Uh, details wise, uh, here we've got this little hook that's just a nice snug fit over here and in this case I've got a rare earth magnet embedded in the um, our auxiliary low fence and just a, um, a screw head here and that just keeps everything nice and tight as you're sliding this thing back and uh, forth into, uh, into position. And that, in turn, lives right down here underneath the, uh, underneath the bandsaw where it's um, uh, easily accessible.